All right, motherfuckers, we're here live. It's me, a uh, snort of parts. And Ingle Whizzle. <laughs> I, I was hoping you were going to go somewhere with the whizzle, like Ingle Wizard or something. It's Ingle Wizard for Shizzard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, here at uh, 3 o'clock, we got Acer Nichiro. He's a huge nerd. <laughs> Nichiro? <laughs> <laughs> It's Acer's Nerd Cheerio. <laughs> he's the geekiest breakfast cereal in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, he's a Nerd Cheerios here. And uh, 9 o'clock, he's going against White Raw, which is weird because I thought Raw was Egyptian, but uh, we'll go with it. Uh, yeah, and I thought Egyptians weren't white, so that's weird. Yeah, I thought they were kind of brown, so... So uh, this is Poland versus Ukraine. This is Game 2. If you didn't see Game 1... Uh, Go watch it right now, because we're probably going to mention the spoilers in about 10 seconds. Actually, we're not going to actually post it on YouTube, because it fucking sucked. Remember? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, so welcome. This is a best of one ladder game that was definitely not a best of anything else. Yeah. And we have no idea who was looking stronger today. Yeah, except we know that White Raw, you know, as of recent, has sucked at this game, so fuck that guy, right? Yeah, but we also are pretty sure that Nurcio was drunk today, so <laughs> we'll have to see. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of... <laughs> I don't know. Neither here nor there. All right, and this is Metropolis, I yeah, think? Yeah, this is, this is crap. This is, this is that city that Superman's from. Yeah, and this is only better than Metalopolis by a little bit, even though they both have the, the two worst names in StarCraft map history. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to, like be known as that level that had the shitty fucking uh, metal band named after it. Yeah, you know what's a really good map, though? Death Clock? What? Scrap Station. <laughs> you know what I like better than Scrap Station, though? Uh, what's, Steps what's of that? War. Oh, yeah, yeah. Steps of War is genius. Alright, so we see Nurcio going newbie maneuver here and making some extractors and canceling them to get his supply up. What a dick. Yeah. Uh, White Raw, is he trying to fast expand? Yeah, I think he is. He's probably going forge first, but it looks like he's actually being blocked by something. What is that big An evolution chamber. Yeah, okay. Nurcio threw down an evo chamber, which is funny, because he probably... How did he get the creep down to build that? I forget how they actually do that. Oh, they start doing a hatchery, and then they cancel it, which leaves a little bit of creep on the ground for just a second. And if you're fast, you can build it, a building on top of that creep before it expires. And that's what he did to get an evo chamber down. Oh, Jeez. and he didn't that's even cancel it. Yeah, that's, that's not paying attention. But he gets all these free broodlings that pop out and do some damage to the uh, zealots. Yeah, but, but they don't even cut kill. down the shields. Yeah, so that was a bit of a waste. What an uh, asshole. That said, Nurcio has expanded behind this hatchery about ooh, fifth of the way done. Oh, look at this. Three zealots versus uh, five zerglings. Six zerglings. Oh, and look, that's going to go the zealots way every time. Except, except they just jog past zealots. each other. Yeah, so... Uh, the, Zell or the uh, Zerglings know that they can outrun it, and they know they can't do much about it. He has seen it, though. He has the information, so now he can crank out four more lings and get out another queen or something and try and set up some sort of defense back at home. These lings score a nice kill on that pylon. Free pylon kill there, depowering the gateway. And they're going to get to work on the second pylon, and if they don't get that, they'll at least delay all this mining. So look back at uh, Nurcio's base. Those zealots have arrived at the natural. We're going to see what they can do over there as far as some early pressure. There's some crazy shit going on that right, other yeah, base. Going back. Uh, so a couple of queens are going to come down and try and contest those oh. three zealots, but back at White Rock Town, he did manage to keep that gateway powered for just long enough to get one more zealot out. Nurcio does not cancel his base. He's not afraid of a few zealots, and he actually cleans them up quite nicely. And that queen will be there to spray and inject in and get to work doing her queenly duties. But back in White Raw's main, still some Nurcio pressure happening. Just four lings baiting everything off the line and costing White Raw a ton of money. Uh, kind of being a little bitch here. Saying, hey, you want to fight? Want to fight? Oh, I don't want to fight you. Hey, you want to fight? Oh, I don't want to fight you. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm just trying to hang out. You know, I've met that guy in a bar before, you know, that guy who's like, want to fight? And as soon as you're like, yeah, he's like, no, fuck that guy. That's and when you box his ears. That's when you box the ears. And that's exactly what Right Raw is trying to do right now. But, you know, he's like kind of a short fat guy. <laughs> With little arms. With little arms. And, mm -hmm. uh, 
The Zerglings are like the little, uh, that's like trying to pick a fist fight with Usain Bolt. What's happening down there at uh, White Ross 3rd? I see a bunch of blue kind of around the outside of them. They are just taking down his destructible Ooh. debris for him. Giving ah. him a little help, helpful uh, help, I guess. Yeah, and White Rod doesn't have anything in range to see that, and so he might get a big surprise cock bags coming in from his back door when he's not ready for it. Yeah, I definitely see that as a possibility here. Third base on the way for Acer's Nurcio. He's also adding on a Roach Warren. We'll see if he wants to do a bit of a Roach Bust at the front door with some wings coming out through the back. Uh, that remains to be seen. Cybernetics core well on its way for White Raw. Looks like he's chosen to throw that down in his main, not at the wall off here for his first natural. So all looking kind of normal. Supply is dead even. Plus one ground weapons now on the way for the Protoss. Oh, look at this. The Zerglings come in at his natural and just start fucking his shit up. He's pushing his shit in, and suddenly these probes decide we don't want to fucking deal with that, so they attack back. And, and yeah, the lings actually run by. I thought they were going to get a bit of a surround from the top of the ramp so that the probes had nowhere to run, but that's not what they did. They went straight into the main, and they pull all of those workers off their regular duties, snag a couple of free kills, freak out some zealots, and then run away like little assholes, probably back down to the natural. Nope, uh, no, they're, they're actually just hanging stuck out. weaving. Yep. Uh, Stalker comes out and that's gonna put an end to this though. Stalker will help clean these up really easily. So they just try and snag whatever kills they can Oh, get. holy shit. We missed, uh, I guess a small little battle up here too. We oh, see some geez. roaches out here with some zerglings, or speedlings at this point. Yeah, they, they do have that metabolic boost. Two more cannons coming down, three more cannons coming down back at White Raw's home. In, in preparation of all these roaches coming, he's oh, at a 20 he, supply deficit. Yeah, he noticed this. Uh, he notices this ramp uh, got fucked up, so he's starting to put down cannons. Yeah, he had to know those links came in from somewhere because he completely walled off the front of his base, so they didn't jump over that debris. So he did know they took it down, and he's going to try and defend accordingly. I mean, it's not a, a big wall off by any means. It's not a roadblock or anything, but it does create a couple of chokeholds for the links to have to run through, and those chokeholds do shoot lasers. Yes, and we see a fourth base now for uh, Nerd Cheerio. Nerd Cheerio, yeah. <laughs> Nerd Cheerio. He's feigning some aggression here, and he's going to do a bit of a pussy push, and he's not going to be terribly worried if it fails, but he will be up two bases as a result. 20 more lings are on the way, and some ling upgrades have begun. Yeah, so he's... So are, are you uh, planning on seeing him stay uh, pure ground this whole game, or...? It he certainly looks that way. Uh, Lair Tech is about done now for Nurcio, so if a Spire comes down immediately, we'll know he's got plans for Muta, but he's already seen that Stalkers are out, although he's certainly seen more Zealots than the Stalkers, but as long as there's uh, a, a sufficient amount of Stalkers on the map, he does not want to be doing Mutalists, because Mutalists are so squishy. Uh, but I guess he's banking that there's not going to be a ton of them, because Spire is now on the way. Oh, and look, this uh, Zergling attack from behind, and a a uh, force field stops them from retreating away from the uh, sentries and the uh, stalkers, and he cleans them up rather quickly. Lots of damage done to his uh, mineral line, but, you know, what the yeah. fuck do you expect? I'm curious how many workers have been killed by Nurcio in this game. Uh, that's control... R. thought so. Yeah, Nurcio has 21, and... Ah. And only two from White Raw. Yeah, and those were probably scouts too. So, so many kills from Nurcio. He's doing a great job keeping White Raw defensive. He's constantly having to dump money into making those workers that he keeps losing rather than making army. Uh, third base is now decently on the way, but that Spire is even closer to being done. And so, freaky Muta Harass is going to be on the field pretty soon. We'll see how well Nurcio can execute that. Yeah, and not only that, but we know that this uh, third has been scouted by Nurcio. So he knows that there's a small army out here. I, I know he can't see the army, but when playing against a guy like White Raw, you know he's going to try to defend this, but being able to uh, anticipate the uh, size of his army is a huge help. And here's a uh, another small push of just roaches, which right. should be able to clean up this army pretty well. He, yeah, sends, we'll... In, he sends in a couple speedlings to, uh, to scout that army, and now he's just going to hang out because he knows that he can't just run in. No, I'm a liar. Oh, That's a lot of sentries, though, and they've probably been sitting around getting energy for quite a while. And so White Rob will be able to throw down great force fields and pick his engagement. He'll be able to cut off half of that army and take it out. Uh, but it looks like he's not actually responding immediately to them knocking on this forge. 
He actually tries to cut them off from the back, and two four fields come down, but he doesn't quite have the range on the sentries to get that third one down to really lock him in. And so he spent a lot of energy for just a couple of cheapy roach kills, and that puts him at a horrible disadvantage. Supply-wise, he's back by 50%. Uh, trying to get blink again. A uh, bunch of mutas now coming out to the field. That third base was finally established, but I don't know if he has enough land units to actually deal with all these uh, roaches. Yeah, this is definitely an army that you don't want to run into without having a counter for it. That's of course. But here come the mutas, and they're just going to do a flyby here. And uh, we'll see how effective that is. Yeah, there's a, there's a cannon here, but the cannon's not going to stand up to the abuse of this many mutas for very long. No, they shit on that cannon, and if you look, uh, White Rod hasn't even turned all his gateways into warp gates, and Nurchio's calling lag. But, I don't know about lags, he seemed to do quite well, all for himself. There is a decent chunk of stalkers here, and stalkers definitely trump mutalisks, so the mutas are going to have to be very careful about the engagements that they pick. There's a bit of a something going on at the third base down there for White Raw, so while the mutalisks are keeping these stalkers busy, it was those roaches ducking in there and trying to get something happening, so I'm not sure what he managed to do there. Let's look at the uh, workers lost again, and see if that's progressed any. Oh, uh, just two more. Okay, so they didn't get a whole lot of stuff done, unless there was a bunch of army down there that they happened to eliminate. But if that was the case, I, I wouldn't think they'd have been running away. So it could have been that uh, White Raw was well prepared. It looks like we're seeing a transition out of White Raw. Uh, and we're actually seeing a, a transition out of both players. White Raw is going to go for High Templar. That may be for Storm or it may be for Archon. We'll have to see what he does with it. But Nurchio is making a second Spire. And that can only mean one thing. He wants to go to Brood Lords and have a greater Spire and a Spire so that he can do air upgrades plus one plus one at the same time, or, you know, add weapons and armor at the same time. So, definitely going to see a big air transition coming out of Nurchio now that he's almost maxed out. We're seeing a small chase here. Uh, those Stalkers against the Mutalisks, but of course they cannot keep up. But he's starting to split his army. He's going to get a surround here on these Roaches. And those roaches are fucked with this many stalkers here. A nice blink just uh, locks him in place, and uh, he cleans them up rather quickly. Yeah, that was a bunch of free roaches. Oh, and but I'm check this sure. out. Check this shit out. A bunch of speedlings come in with the mutas, and yeah. there's just hell going on in his base. Yeah, and Nurchio was maxed out, and the worst thing you can have as a maxed out Zerg is roaches. Because they take up a bunch of supply without really carrying their own weight. So he, he threw away those roaches, made a great diversion, and he comes in and he's just going to fucking shell over White Raw right now. He's actually supply blocks him as well at 141 over 134. So he comes in, he throws away a bunch of expendable wings that don't matter a damn. He keeps his mutalisks alive while doing all that production damage, and then he just leaves. He's like, I'm still here, I'm still pretty much maxed out, and you're now down 60 supply from me. Yeah, but he's still got hundreds of these fucking zerglings. And he has maintained Zergling upgrades this whole game. Even when he went into Roaches for a good while, he wasn't doing Roach upgrades, he was doing melee upgrades. And we see that not only is that good for Lings, it's good for uh, Banelings, which are also on the way and being upgraded right now. Baneling speed is just about done. Mutas flock, 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 flock flies right into all these stalkers, and they kind of hedge their bet and say, I think there's enough of me and not enough of you, so I'm gonna fight you, but it doesn't actually wind up working out for him. He does pull away, loses a few uh, birdies in the sky, but takes out a shitload of stalkers there with all that splash. That was a uh, huge amount of damage. Uh, White, well, yeah, White Raw's answer to this Mutalisk flock is going to be Storm. And so he is researching Storm for his High Templar. He's also getting out of Warp Prism to do some drop play. And White Raw, if you don't know, is the man credited for bringing back Warp uh, Prism play into StarCraft 2 meta game. Like, no one could figure out how to use him properly until White Raw showed people how to do it. Good snipe of that third base by Nurchio. He picks up third base, doesn't take a whole lot of losses, and then goes back to his merry way. Uh, five base to two now? So, yeah, Nurchio definitely. looking outstanding. Maxed out, White Raw, 130 supply, trying to make something happen here. Storm not quite done in that high Templar archive thing, he just dies. So, Storm is done. A whole bunch of cannons are not going to stop this many mules, and they can just take out pylons and de power everything. Not looking good for the uh, Ukrainians. Yeah, definitely. And Nurchio is just going to stand here and actually fight all of these uh, stalkers for a little while. Cause a lot of damage before he escapes. He he has the base advantage, so even his lost uh, units aren't going to matter. Because he'll just be able to re 
repopulate. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm, oh, like, we see a, than... we see a drop here up top, but there's only a couple of zealots here. Uh, yeah, if we look at White Raw's production facilities, he might have depowered. Nurchio might have depowered all those gateways or something. Because oh, he did. He definitely, he definitely did. There's only three active right now. Yeah, that would be why. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see these get torn up real quick, and then while that this is going on, we see a lot of mutas in this base, and they're just gonna muscle through all these stalkers. It's not an ideal engagement for them, but there's such numbers that it's not a problem for them to to fight all of these. Yeah, that, you're exactly right. And not only do they have the numbers advantage despite being an inferior unit, it doesn't matter when you have such a strong economy against a weak economy. If you take two to one losses, that's fine because you got three to one economy. And so these are just disposable. He can replace them at the drop of a hat. He knows that White Raw's on his back, uh, back foot and really hurting right now. And so any damage you can achieve at any cost is good. And yeah, and there's there's Zerglings coming in to back this up. Yeah. You know. Uh, how he's doing this is he's he's keeping his uh, ground army and his air army both strong enough to uh, to force the guy to uh, separate how he defends himself, and that's that's a huge problem for White Rod at this point in the game. What units do I bring out that can attack land and air? Right, and uh, Lings are basically a free unit, and when they're upgraded as much as they are right now, they're a crazy good free unit. And so with five bases, he can make lings all day, forever, and it will never matter. So if they just chip away and do a little damage, it's great. But they're not doing a little damage. They're doing a fucking shitload of damage. And White Rod has to tap out there. GG from the Ukrainian. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, great game there by uh, Nerd Cheerio. <laughs> yeah. And uh, decent game to the casters. Yeah. All right, catch you guys next time. It's been Killing Esports. I'm Inglewood. Snurred apart.